Hey now, here's another Patreon exclusive case unboxing video. I already opened up this uh, Japan Historics 2. Uh, I didn't decide to start doing these Patreon exclusive uh, case unboxing videos until recently. Uh, however, I found this case. I bought this one a little while ago. As a matter of fact, I forgot that I had bought this and then I turned around and bought another one. This is uh, Car Culture and that's what uh, J Japan Historics is, Car Culture. But look at the difference in the size of the box. The, the cards are a lot wider and uh, the a totally different shaped box because of the uh, packaging. Well, let's go ahead and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. So when, the, when Mattel makes stuff for the stores, uh, you know, it depends on what the stores wanna sell and at what price point. So car culture, these things were in Target, for example, Three dollars, maybe three fifty in some stores. So here, here are a couple of cars and donuts models. Well, uh, the only thing about the cars and donuts or the uh, mm, car culture line, and it and it says car culture up here in the corner, and then they come up with different uh, segments, cars and donuts, and there's been different themes, Euro, and I can't think of them all. Uh, the only thing is that, uh, so nice price, $3.50. And I like, a lot of collectors like collecting this size package. It's the uh, same size package as a regular Hot Wheels package. So this way when you go to store it, you know, it takes up the, the same amount of space and you can store all your Hot Wheels together. And uh, even your Matchbox, same size blister pack. So that was nice. The artwork's nice. The only thing is that you're paying a higher price to get uh, rubber tires. But uh, they did not have, uh, they did not always have tail light imprints or headlights. So it's like, uh, you know, so myself included are saying, really, you, you, you can't give, oh, by the way, they did have metal base though. So here you have the BMW M1 Pro Car. Here you have uh, custom Datsun 240Z in white. Now this one's not going to have that many decorations because, you know, uh, the, the regular release, uh, the real car, is just like this. It does have uh, tail light decorations, metal base, rubber tires. I like these tires. Uh, I'm not quite convinced on these rims. But, you know, to each their own. Everybody has their own things that they like. Me personally, that's okay. These are okay. Here you have the Subaru Impreza WRX tail light decorations. Subaru logo in the back or text and uh, no no that's it uh, oh actually you do have something right here so th there was a bit of complaining from collectors that uh, hey we would like we, we'd like to get uh, headlight and tail light decorations Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA uh, I like these tires the rims look okay on this one no tail light decorations And last but not least, I think it's a McLaren or a P1. Uh, yeah, McLaren P1. Oh, yeah, nice card art. It looks, and, and then when you put up your displays, if you have your Hot Wheels on your wall and you have these, all the same size package, it looks nice and uniform, nice and neat. Uh, these wheels look pretty cool in all black. This one does have headlight decorations. That's probably counted as a, a top imprint like this. So that's probably why they can do that. And uh, no, no tail light decorations. So when uh, co collectors, you know, Mattel is saying collectors wanted tail light decorations. So what do they do? Well, we're going to have to come out instead of it being a three dollar and thirty three three to three fifty. You know, how about if we come out with uh, bigger? I mean, cars with decorations on the front as well. But so now you got tail light decorations. By the way, um, all these had metal bases. I didn't show them every time, but all these have metal bases. Uh, there you have your tail light decorations. You have printing on the side. And you, it's hard to see, but there are white headlights there. And you have a logo. But they turn around and uh, they made it a bigger card, a lot bigger card. As a matter of fact, if I put them like this, it's easier to see. A lot bigger card. 
And why do they do that? It's because then they can tell retailers, hey, now you can charge this at, uh, in the USA, these are $5.50. So we went from a $3 to a 350 package to nearly double and it's it's a consumer thing. Well, look, you're getting a bigger card. Oh, then they tell the retailers, look how much bigger, how nicer it is. Eh, you know what? I buy the cars. The card art isn't always necessarily, this is fine. Now, of course, pop culture has been this size for a long time. Let me go ahead and show you all the cars in this set in case you haven't seen them. Japan Historics 2. I did a video on race screws for Japan Historics 1. I'll put it in the end card. Dotson Bluebird 510. I get people messaging me or posting a comment on that uh, Japan Historics one. They ask me, hey, uh, hey, can you sell your Japan Historics? No, sorry, I'm not selling. I don't sell them. Headlights. Now, to be honest with you, some of these cars, uh, I don't know, the rims, I don't, it's like a deep dish rim and it sticks out from the car. I guess it's a style. I guess maybe it's something that I got to get used to. This one, uh, I don't care for this one. Little tiny wheels. Love the car, Nissan Skyline C210. But uh, little tiny wheels, and then there's a lot of space in the wheel well. You know, to each their own. It's all right. Tail light decorations, headlights, metal base, Mazda RX3. This might be the only second time that it was released. Don't quote me on that. It was in the first set, too, as a matter of fact. There's your tail light decorations. Got more meat on the tires for this one. And on the grill, you got details on the grill. I'll do a quick uh, pass through on the card art in a moment. Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. It, the wheels just uh, tiny wheels, they stick out. L rubber band tires, lots of rim. I don't know. It's not my thing necessarily. It's all right. Tail lights. Uh, hold on. So, anyways, what do you what do you think about uh, paying more for a larger card, or uh, does it really matter to you? It's up to you. I'm just curious. If you want to take the time to comment, the the artwork though really was nice. He did the uh, mm, Japanese. I forgot what's in the background. He talked about it once. We're okay. Uh, I don't know. The wheels themselves, see, for me, I don't need a bigger blister card. Not a big fan of some of the wheels. Yeah, but you bought them. Yeah, you know. What can I say? Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe I'll put some of these on the uh, on the downhill racetrack and uh, give them a go. Why not? I, that's fine. It's fine with me. I like them loose, too. So this big cardboard, I don't necessarily need it. Anyways, thanks a lot, folks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.